Hey folks, Kapili Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. We are on a rescue mission to try to save Valentina. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are very close. We're within four kilometers in space here and closing in. Um, now these markers here, I actually don't know if that's directly towards the target or not, or relative to our motion. It'd be actually relatively handy if it was relative to our motion, I guess. I don't know. We'll resume the flight for now. I'm going to try to stay, um, how come I can't steer my ship right now? Hello. I have no control over my ship. Oh, it's because of some, some control mode I'm in? Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Yes. Um, fuck. Hold on. Where's my target? Is that his target? Stop, 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 stop. Okay. That is really annoying. Something happened that screwed me up. So, if that is... Okay, no. Now, that's facing away from my target. How do I match speeds to my target? There's got to be a symbol for that. <gasps> okay. Poo. Poo, 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 poo. What am I missing here? Well, okay. Okay, hold on. Maybe this is matching speed. No, because our relative speed is different. Okay, is there another symbol on my nav ball? Uh, does it change my prograde retrograde symbols? What if I go back to docking mode? Okay, if I'm in dock mode, how do I change the control mode and now just clear the target? What the fuck happened? That's me. Is that his target? Okay, so these are the things to face directly towards. As far as I'm understanding it. So I'm now burning directly towards my target. Ah, uh, and now this shows... Okay. Okay, I want them to align. Okay, that puts them further apart. There we go. I want to push them closer together. So that my ve vectors are really, really facing properly. Okay, I'm moving... Almost not at all relative to my target right now. That's good. Now, I'm still a kilometer away. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So, now we want to burn on this side of things. So that my prograde gets lined up. Whoa! Okay. It's a little intense. Over here. So, just a, just a scooch a burn. So, that means I'll be actually... My direction, my velocity vector, which is what my prograde is, will be lined up exactly with my target, like that. Now, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. We don't want to smash into it. It's very important. That way, now I can burn directly opposite of it when we get close. Now, 17 delta V is nothing. That's going to be less than a second burn. Okay. Okay. We're going to do this, you guys. We're going to save her. We're going to save Valentina. This is an unmanned ship, um, but it's got a, a command module on it, which Valentina will be able to unlock using her universal key, or maybe she'll have to do a lockpicking check. That could be, too. We are closing in. All right, let me kill my relative velocity here. Because that's the wrong way. If I'm facing retro, it's actually more like here. All right, we'll have to do another adjustment maneuver. Okay. Over here. Oops. Wrong way. This way. Fuck. Okay. Alright, relative velocity is a lot lower than on last pass. Thank goodness for that. That'll line it up properly, but so what I have to do is figure out when I'm facing retro, how do I want to point it? More like this? No, I do still want to do it this way. No, I'm definitely pushing away. Okay, a few more. Woo! Fuck. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we're facing... We're moving directly to it now, but going too fast. And I'll go to the other side. Just can't do the reverse properly. Burn. Stop. Good. There we go. When I'm facing retro, I'm like pushing it away. Okay. All right. Stop. Try not to smash into the thing. Uh, there's got to be a way for me to like actually stop relative to it. Maybe use the RCS. Okay. I wonder if we can get it back down to point one again. Point one's pretty goddamn good. Okay, hit the square bracket. Switch to here. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. EBA. Collect all the data. Let go. Turn on the RCS. Switch to the other ship. <gasps> We're gonna do it. Holy fuck. All right, getting to Minmus, landing, it's fine, easy. Um, getting back, actually totally easy. I just, I did F up by being too cautious. Where's the actual hatch? Oh, it's on the bottom. That is actually highly inconvenient. Although, if I can sort of just stop for a second here. Rotate around, rotate around, rotate around. And then the SAS will stop it. Then come back over here. Come on, baby. Board. Okay, grab. There we are. Board. Yes! 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 Okay, I've got a, I've got a parachute and everything. <sighs> okay. I can actually clear that target. Staging. Win. No, whatever the fuck that does. One of these buttons just clears the target, which is continuously not what I expect. Alright, I'm going to have to like relearn one of those, but that, the point of this was not to originally learn it. Okay, I think we'd get maximum efficiency if we waited until our app wapses at this point. Uh, how much... Mm, yeah, I'm not going to mess around again. I don't want to do another rescue mission. I'm going to come around here, and we're going to start our deal work from here. We're not like ridiculously high. So it's okay. Um, cancel all the time warp. I think we're right at our app, so Apple. Okay. Burn. And that should be more than good enough. Because the atmospheric braking should be sufficient. Give us lots of air, should drop us, I, I would hope, uh, maybe not in the ocean, actually. There. Well, now we'll drop somewhere around here, I suspect. Ish. Hopefully. Okay. We're facing pro. If we were to detach now, we'd drop off everything back here. Technically, we'd still have some... No, we wouldn't have any RCS, which should be fine. We could still turn, which is all that's required. Look how happy Valentina is that she's coming home. She is so thrilled. So thrilled. So thrilled. There's her old capsule left behind. All right. Oh, do I not have my uh, my staging options anymore? I have to manually decouple now? That's interesting. Oh, no, it's because I'm not in staging. Oh. All right. Um, let me double check one more time. I mean, our parry is inside the planet, which is more than needs be. So obviously we're going to deorbit here. Okay. Um... I don't know what the space bar did, but not what I expected. There we go. There may have been another, like, a dummy stage somewhere. Okay, and we are technically facing a retrograde. Turn off the SAS for now. So... No, oh, there it is. Like, oh my god, where'd the planet go? <laughs> that speed up. It's gonna be a long way. And yeah, our speed is going up. It's 
Yeah, not worry. We're gonna we're gonna spin around and stuff. That's gonna be okay. And drop. There we go. We are atmospheric at this point. I'm gonna just whoa turn to SAS turn on. There we go. To roughly face retrograde. Something like this. And once we start getting atmospheric effects, there we go. Our capsule will automatically turn to keep its butt end facing into the atmospheric landing. Which is going to be roughly, well, it, it will be retrograde. Be a little wobbly at first. I can kill some of that intentionally with a little SAS. Just to stop any extra wobbliness. Just the occasional tap there. But we, are hit, we are hitting air. Oh, we can science from here? What is it going to be? EVA? Fuck no. One day. One day. It's just, I don't want to risk it at this point. <laughs> I just don't want to lose. She's got 14 packages of extremely valuable science, and I just don't want to lose Valentina. It would just be terrible. So I think we're going to land right past those islands. Yeah, because that's what we're seeing right now. I'm pretty sure we're going to land way over there. Okay, there we go. Atmospheric, no SAS on. It's going to keep us pointing the right way. We don't have any extra weird bits anywhere. Technically, there's a little bit of thing maybe on the ladder. Although, I think the ladders are technically physicalist. Like, they might show up here, but I think they're mostly physicalist. I might be wrong about that, though. All right, speed is being bled off very, very, very well. And we can watch this change. Oh, that's the rest of our debris. It's going to land somewhere else. Uh, we actually might hit land after all. That's okay. We're going to wait for some of these effects to go away. Deploy the chute. Just make sure there's no fire at all. You can wait easily until 10,000. Um, if I if I open it earlier, we'll definitely land on that. Well, no matter what, we're going to land on that. I suppose if I open it now, I'm just going to wait for the rest of the mock effects to go away. We could have maybe forced it to land there, but it's okay. Landing on land is fine. We get the parachute. It's okay. All right. All the mock effects are gone. So there's no reason we can't deploy that safely. Doesn't matter where we land, it's going to be nice and gentle. Just because we have no weight. I could have shortened our uh, our landing time just by not opening the parachute until we get much, much lower, but, you know, what the, whatever. Look at that, actually, we did. Wow, parachute really cuts back a lot, doesn't it? Okay, we spent a lot of money. It was, I think, 50 grand for the sh first ship itself and about 40 grand for the second ship. We recovered basically none of it. Actually, the second ship might have been cheaper because I did remove the boosters at the last minute there. Not the most efficient um, money maker. Now, I can, of course, do just a bunch of satellite missions to raise money if I'm willing to, to do a little bit of grinding, which I'm not opposed to. If I do anything like that, I probably won't end up recording it because there's not much to say. Um, I could have recovered her without the rescue mission, although we did learn a little bit of something about rendezvous mechanics. Parachute deployment failed. Reason, stopped on ground. I think that's FAR that adds those messages. Recover the vessel. Valentina comes home a hero. The first Kerbin to land on a foreign space body. Had to mount a rescue mission to get her back, and we succeeded. We got her back alive. We earned 689 science from that. Yes, there is more science that you can earn from one of these trips. If I had more power, I could have sent in two more crew reports for one. That would have been, what, another... I don't know, 30, 40, maybe 50 science, depending on exactly what the value of everything is. Um, so, you know, we could have gotten a bit more from this mission as is, not to mention there's more biomes and whatever. But as my first type of these flights, I'm incredibly, incredibly happy. Um, we recovered 176 bucks, which ain't much. Valentina gained seven experience points. She uh, blew all the way to level two, because I think they start, what, level zero? And she's gone past one into two. So not only can she auto SAS prograde and retrograde, but she'll get some other dimension there too, maybe even point towards maneuvers, which is a nice quality of life thing. Uh, what do we have here? We got the stage destroyed. Completed mission. Rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. I had a mission for that. We didn't have to dock, we just said rendezvous. Hey, look at that. So, okay, this rescue mission actually, you know, we, we, uh, we got some extra value out of it. Oh, that's fantastic. And and now we're starting to get rescue. I think we may have already gotten some some rescue contracts. They're worth a fair amount as well, like seventy grand in total, um, plus some extra little science. Plant a flag on Minmus. I just did that. Oh my god, that's worth a lot. Hold on. I think if I'd done some of these missions in a slightly different order, I might have been able to get a little bit more 
um, a satellite in orbit of the moon. Look at how much money you get from these. So again, you know, seeing me launch satellite after satellite after satellite might not be particularly fun. I like this logo, um, but it's a good way to make sure that I can fund the rest of my space program. Oh, I currently am full on contracts. Oh, I have a mission to satellite um, around or Kerbin as well. The only downside to this is it does start to pollute up your um, your your map and your tracking. Um, I know from the tracking stations you can filter things on and off. I'm not sure if you can filter things on and off from your generic map view. Um, temperature scans of Kerbin in places, which I figure I can do. It's on the surface, in flight. Well, some of these are like quite high, actually. These are very high. I could probably do it with a satellite. I haven't decided what I want to do about those things yet. Actually, maybe what I want to do, because this is a lot easier. What's the time limit on this? Four hours? Tell you what. Oh, I'll, I'll get a penalty for canceling some of these, won't I? Whoa, that is a lot of penalty. All right, I'll figure out how to do them at some point. But thank you very much for watching another episode. You know what we're going to do? It's going to cost us half our money. I'm going to upgrade our R&D station because two reasons. One, right now we have a science, science limit of 100, which means right now if I go into it, I can unlock the last two things, right? I can unlock propulsion systems. I can unlock aerodynamics. I can unlock, oh, miniaturization. And that's it. I can't unlock anything else because these all cost over 100. So I've got to upgrade things. Plus, this will give me, whoops, the ability to take surface samples on, on EVAs and transfer resources, which is interesting. So we're going to do that. It's going to cost a lot of our money, but we still have more than enough left to do. So now we'll be able to unlock some fancier science plus, or fancier tech, plus we can get more science from our next visits. We are going to be going to the moon relatively soon. We do have a quest for to go back to Minmus, and I think I will do that. I think I will repeat the mission to Minmus with actually the same vessel, except with solar panels. Um, but we'll try to land in a different biome, so we get some extra science from that. Um, we'll also be able to transmit some data which means we'll be able to take more crew reports, which will be good. We can take surface samples, and plus I want to prove that that last ship can do it as long as I deorbit properly. Um, having a mainsail engine would actually would help things a fair bit. It's a bit more powerful. What was I using last time? Um, the Spark? No, not the Spark. Was I using the Poodle? Or the Skipper? I was using the Skipper. Smaller than the mainsail. So what's the stats here? ISP at... Atmospheric, which is what I'm looking for, or at sea level, is 280. SL is 285, so it actually has slightly more efficiency at sea level. Um, although this one has slightly more in space. The thrust is 568. The thrust of this one, holy crap, it's twice as much thrust. And slightly more efficient as well. So not only does it um, sorry, take off faster, but it actually ultimately get us a little further because um, it gives us more total thrust per pound of fuel. Now, that might take us off a little too fast, but it's going to be good if we build a big ship. We may not need this sort of thing. It's also more expensive. Let's see. Entry purchase. Entry purchase unit cost? What's the difference there? Oh, is the very first one more expensive? Now it says purchase and unit cost. What is it? What is entry purchase? Can I just, is it possible to buy something when I don't have it? No, I'm very confused. Anyway, um, I don't know what our next thing to buy will be. Advanced fuel systems. Oh, we get the RCS tanks at that point, which opens up some neat things. We got lots of science. There's certainly a lot we can pick up. Um, we don't need this for our next mission to Minmus or the Moon grabbing unit. The claw. Is this what you use to like attach yourself to um, asteroids and push them around? I don't know yet. Supersonic flight, we can live without. Advanced aerodynamics. Air, brake, air brakes, clampotron. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure out what, what other stuff we're going to get. Bigger parachutes and things. Specialized control. Ah, the big wheel module. So it doesn't look as quite as derpy in my last design. We might pick that one up right away. More monopropellant. What's a Werner engine? Link to RCS, but are powered by fuel oxidizer mix. Ah, so you use them like RCSs, but they're more powerful. Oh, and the bigger command modules. So we can land multiple people. That could be our next mission. Why go with one person? We could go with three, including bringing a scientist. Um, and if we have a scientist to reset experiments, 
It means our landing pod for Minmus doesn't have to be that weird triple decker thing anymore. It can just be a, a thing that's got a single science module, or science lab I should say, and a single goo canister. And we can actually reset the experiments. We still want to pilot because some SAS is pretty helpful. Although, I suppose we could do the thing where we use a probodyne um, component to provide SAS and just go with a single scientist. We'll have to think about that. You know what else I'm really excited about? Proper ladders. We don't need them for Minmus. But you know what? I'm going to grab them. I don't know if you can do RCS stuff on the moon and how to get back in and out of the, the, the space module. So we may wait on that. Um, oh, these are the small ones. Oh, and then this, is this a small probe? Because it descends from miniaturization, which is cool. Advanced electronics, bigger batteries. Oh, we get the uh, solar panels that extend. You know what? I'm going to take this one just because it looks freaking amazing. They, they extend and turn to face things. What's the difference between these two? Cannot be retracted. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have to test these out. Um, okay, maybe I won't spend it now. There's also the possibility of the command module. I Oh, I can get both. I can get the bigger command modules, and I can get the better solar panels. And honestly, um, that's going to be sufficient for some stuff. Let me do that and do this, because we can maybe do some cooler satellites with that as well. So that's all of our science. Going back to Minmus won't give it necessarily give us tons of science, but it will give us a good amount of science. I don't know what it means when you level up your scientists and engineers. Um, can we find out anything about that? I don't think it really defines it in here, does it? Da -da -da. Oops, that is not where I want to go at all. I want to go to the astronaut center. Mm -hmm. Come on, load faster. There we go. This is the astronaut center? Yes, it is. So, stability assist, prograde, retrograde hold, radial normal attitude hold. It doesn't have maneuver nodes. Or, yeah, maneuver hold, which is really too bad. The scientists, just 100% science return. I wonder if you get more and more and more of them as you level it up. And then repairing broken parts. Um, in the, the default thing, you can, I know if you do like a hard landing or if you take some heat damage, I think your engineers can fix things. Um, I know there's mods to like add the possibility that parts actually break down as you go. And it's kind of interesting to think about that. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in here and um, we'll see what happens in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.